I'm Rachel, and this is Mwenzi, and we are Adventurous Heart. And today, we're going to talk quillology. Yes, that is the study of quills, and yes, I did just make that up. But anyway, we're going to talk about quills, and Mwenzi here is going to, of course, help us talk about quills as she knows all about them. Uh, so a North American porcupine is said to have 30,000 quills, Mwenzi, I haven't counted, it might take a while. I don't think she has quite that many because the top portion of her body doesn't have quills, so I can easily pet her or her belly. She loves belly rubs. Um, and she's even so nice, she lets me touch the back quills. As you can see, we have all the quills here, but don't worry, it doesn't hurt the porcupine to be able to get all of those quills. In fact, porcupine lose their quills just like you and I shed our hair. So I'll go down in the morning and there'll be quills just laying around their pen. But as you can see, there's a bunch of different sizes of quills on the table and that depends where it's at on the porcupine's body. So the long ones are going to be across the back as you have here. And then the really long soft ones that look like this are known as guard hairs. And that's how a porcupine is going to feel direction of what is behind it. And then the thicker quills that we have are going to be closer towards the back. And then as they get a little bit shorter, they're actually going to be on the porcupine's tail. There's a couple that are hollow that they don't lose too often. That's what they rattle to give you a little warning. But it's okay. You can see all of our quills here. And again, they just are going to come out. And you want to go down? Here you go. Good girl. There you go. Good girl. So as you can see, we have a variety of the quills here. And what happens is when a porcupine gets frightened, it's actually going to stand up the quill. And then the quills are going to use to protect them. But if it starts to hit something on one end, it goes into the porcupine's body. But instead of stabbing it, of course, it just releases tendons um, that will be soft here when they first lose them. And then they lose that quill. But again, all of these, that's more in the wild, all of these just fell out of the porcupine. And so we are going to use all of these quills that we've collected over a bit of time to do a little art. You can see here, I have some porcupine earrings. These were gifts actually before I got Moenzi and Kibo. Uh, so we didn't make these, they're not theirs. Uh, we'll make sure they're properly sourced and all that. Uh, but we are going to do a little art project to be able to do a porcupine frame. So hopefully Moenzi and Kibo will come up and help us with it a little bit, but we'll see what we produce um, as we're just getting started. Since I had Mwenzi up here, I decided Kibo should be involved too. So you can tell the difference, right? They look a little different. Yep, this is Kibo. So I brought Kibo up to help show you a little bit about his quills as well. So again, you can see all the quills in the back. And no quills in the front. So Kibo's gonna run around the house a little bit as we make a cool design with his, with his quills. Thanks, Kibo. Let me see. Oh yeah, which one should we use? Which one? You like that one? All right, we'll use that one. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right, here you go. Hey, buddy. There you go. That's a boy. Good boy. I'll get you some more stuff. <laughs> so quills, of course, <laughs> as you can see <laughs> when Kibo picks his favorite, they do tend to stand up in the carpet, so don't step on them. <laughs> More for art. After Kibo picked which quills we should use, he already did his work. He's loving his food. And that means we put dad to work. <laughs> I just gotta figure out how these go together. <laughs> do you want Kibo to help you again? <laughs> I think I'll take it from here. <laughs> What do you think, Keeb? Dad says he has it. You think he has it? Let's get a good shot of these quills. Thanks, Kibo. It's time for him to eat. <laughs> so we have all of our quills set, ready, divided by size. And we're actually using toenail clippers <laughs> to be able to cut the quills mainly because the quills are actually made out of the same material as your fingernail. So as you look at the inside of the quill, 
you can actually see that it's made of fingernail material, almost like styrofoam. And so we're just gonna cut through it, but they're not hollow inside like you might think. It does have a bunch of materials in there, and that is actually what allows a porcupine to be able to float while it is swimming. So you can definitely check out the Swimming with a Porcupine video as well to be able to see how they float as they swim. As you can see, Moenzi's working hard. Kibo's working hard. <laughs> Actually, Moenzi's sneaking upstairs. <laughs> Dad loves it. <laughs> go with the flow. <laughs> or at least he puts up with our shenanigans. <laughs> I play with arts and crafts. <laughs> <laughs> and porcupine quilts. Making artwork can be a lot of work. So Moenzi and I, <laughs> we decided to take a break. <laughs> Hi, kid. You coming up? Come on up, buddy. You can do it. It's a big jump. Come on. There's the girl. Lindsay can do it. Come on, Keith. Come on. Come on, buddy. You can do it. So, Wins, what do you think? How's Daddy doing? We doing okay? Yeah, it's coming along. <laughs> Good girl. Thank you for your supervision. Good shot of these beautiful quills. Good girl, thank you. So little by little, I've been sorting through the quills, picking out the right size. And so I use a little piece of quill that I cut to measure it uh, based on the frame, take it, measure it up, and then go ahead and just put a nice little cut in it. And then take this piece and line it up here in the frame. So I have them all laid out. Now I have to take them out and glue them, which I'm a little nervous about, but it'll be fine. So step by step, I'm gonna hot glue it in piece by piece, and then this frame will be ready. So excited. So I'm in the gluing stage now. I had it all laid out. So I'm taking each little quill segment piece by piece and then using the hot glue gun to put a little bead of glue down and then you have to be quick enough and if you put it where you roll it just a little bit, it makes it so you're not seeing that glue line in between. So a little bit of an art form to be able to make it but it's slowly coming together and I'm pretty excited to be able to see it. So keep on plugging away until it's done. Burning the midnight oil, I see. Yeah, we won't mention what time it is. <laughs> it's dark out. <laughs> you can probably see your watch from here, but... Eh, maybe 1.30. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I finally finished it. Got it all glued on. Just removing some of the last bits of hot glue gun. But I think it turned out pretty darn good, if I don't say so myself. So next, just to get a cool picture of me and the kiddos in here, and it'll be all set and ready to go. So super cool to be able to take the quills that the porcupines naturally lose and be able to create some art uh, to continue to tell their story uh, in our family. So I'm Rachel, the adventurous heart, and uh, the next time you see this, it's gonna have a cool little family shot in it. Cool, now go to bed. <laughs> all right. <laughs>